What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you know the drill. It does not matter what you drive because today we're talking about the Ford Bronco, baby. That's right. Ford Bronco is in the news. And this is, especially if you've got the hard top, you really want to know this. But first, if you have not yet, why haven't you? Come on, man. Show me a little bit of love. Uh, smash the like button. It helps the channel grow and do better, bigger and better things. And uh, we appreciate that. And then think about giving us a subscribe. So, it's come out on Bronco 6G. Maybe it's a little inside information. I don't know, but I'm going to report on it anyways. So that the, uh, if you ordered the hard top, it was an option that you could get uh, some sound deadening uh, material applied to it for it's almost like a $500 upcharge. But the kicker was it was stupidly selective on what models you could get. It made no sense at all why you could only get it on certain trims, but if you got the 2.7 liter V6, you couldn't get it. Or if you got this, you couldn't get it. It just didn't make any sense, but it, Ford is telling dealers now that this is not going to be optional anymore. They're just going to get for 2021, probably only this year. I, I'm going to assume because they've had a lot of problems with this vehicle. It's kind of a little, a little here, guys. Here's a little, a little trickle down a little bit of uh, love for you guys. But uh, so let's just jump into this from Bronco 6G, and we'll go from there. All right, so let's get into this bit of news, and it, it comes from uh, Bronco 6G, but it really comes from 618 Travel Wild over there, and that person seems to have the inside track with all things Bronco, and uh, I want to say a little shout out to them, because they always do a really good job with the news, and they're, for the most part, always right, so uh, I feel like it can be trusted, but let's get into this news just a little bit. So Ford announced today... To dealers, that uh, sound deadening headliner option for the 21 Bronco will now be standard on the mold in color hardtops. Now, that is what they call the MIC. So, if you've ever heard it referenced as an MIC top, and you're like, what the hell are they talking about? Now you know. Uh, that are matched with cloth or leather interiors and will be a non uh, cost option on ML, all MICs that are uh, paired with the marine grade vinyl, which is what I've got. Uh, interiors and bottom line it says nobody will be paying extra for any sound deadening uh, materials and that is freaking awesome to me because uh, I, I don't know if it's it's a production issue of why they want to do this or it's just uh, you know uh, the building price was kind of goofy with this stuff and and why it's taken almost nine months or so from a building price to even get things like this out i don't know but uh i'm super happy about it so let's get into it more uh, we suspect the reason for making the headliner optional on the mgv interiors is that those interiors are focused on water resistance makes sense the headliner was first shown off on bronco nation forum and uh the fuzzy carpet like material that adhered to the roof is designed to reduce the cabin noise and was a 495 dollar option on the two-door and four-door broncos now for those concerned about headroom, the Broncos, and why would you, honest to God, why, who is concerned about headroom with, it's like a couple millimeters, it's not big at all, guys, I, 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 and I've seen this on the forums, I, I scratch my head every time, because if, if that much makes a difference for you, maybe it's not the vehicle for you. But uh, for those concerned about headroom in the Broncos with the MIC tops, the headliner is quite thin and effective on headroom and is extremely small. I think it should be say extremely thin. Uh, but it goes to say this change also applies to builds that didn't have access to the sound deadening headliners before. For example, the four-door Bronco Badlands Edition with a 2.7 liter V6. This was not an option. The headliner, uh, due to Ford's constraints in ordering uh, production systems, and now the option is uh, just part of the MIC top trims and uh, will be available to uh, any build regardless of the options. So I am super pumped about that. Let me know, guys. I'm Once again, I, I feel like this should honestly be standard on any. I, I want to say Jeep. I can't remember if Jeep, if this is an option to have the, the headliner in theirs or not. But I've seen this. It looks great. And I think if you're you're silly, if you go, you know what? I really just don't need it because you're not talking. There's no weight savings to this at all. And uh, I think it's just a plus. So let me know in the comments below what you think. There you have it. I'm one of the few that's really, really pumped about this. Uh, not that I was worried about just a non-sound deadening top, but you know, I uh, I kind of wanted that option, but it, just because of the Sasquatch package and what I ordered it for whatever reason, it would not let me have it. So are you excited about it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, from all things two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, that Bronco we all want to drive. This is your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we are out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.